Hey everyone, welcome to Spice to Fun Outdoors. I'm glad you can make it. Um, today we actually have a sponsor video from a company right here in Minnesota and it's called Northwoods Fabrication. So, what does Northwoods Fabrication make? Well, they make a really good homemade project product rather, um, for the winter time. Obviously, as you can see, it's not winter time. It's actually pretty stinking warm out. I think it's like 85 degrees right now. But, nonetheless, we're going to get into this. As you open the package of this mystery package, there's a hose. Okay, well that doesn't make sense yet, does it? You get even deeper into this. Ooh, it's upside down. And it comes with a sticker. Is a wood stove. Now, that's what Northwoods Fabrication specializes in is wood stoves and actually make a damn good one too. But this one is a little different. As you could notice from before, there is a hose that comes with it, so that makes this one propane. Now, before you start thinking, well, I can always buy a propane stove and there I don't have to vent it, like this one needs to be vented. But I'll tell you the problem with those. We'll set aside the good one for now. And we'll go to what most ice fishermen have, is this thing. So the problem with these, yes, it's very convenient, but they are non-vented. You don't have to vent them at all. But the problem is, they are so fragile, like unbelievably fragile. Because this plate back here is actually ceramic. And if you've ever driven across the ice with a four-wheeler or um, a snowmobile with this and a sled behind it or even on there, you know this thing's getting jostled around. So we'll sit here, try and get the pilot light lit. It's not going. This is in all the way, this is a brand new one. You watch me take the cap off of it. These things are very, very stubborn. This, on the other hand, you can run this in your portable. Now, what I mean by portable is your pop-up style ice house that you put up. And what you're going to do is you can buy exhaust pipe section for it. From Northwoods. Not recommended that you drop them. And they all connect in. Like so, so on, so forth, all the way up. And then you connect your hose to your stove. And I'm pretty sure you're probably wondering, well, how am I going to get this out of my portable? Okay, so we've got our stove here. And this is the flashing I was talking about. All you do is you have to take a section of um, Velcro, stick it on there, cut your hole out for what looks like a three inch pipe. Yep, three inch pipe, and then get an elbow piece so you can just run this straight up and out the back of your portable. Again, I would set up my portable today, but it's stinking hot, and that thing is all black and insulated, so this is what you get. So we're going to move this out of the way, and get switched over. Now, I don't have the... We're going to open up this hose here. Actually looks like a pretty stout hose. I'm not going to undo it all the way. I just need these two ends here. We're going to connect this here. And 
we're going to connect this side right here. So we got that all set up. We're going to turn our gas on. And we'll come in here. You see the burner right inside there. We've got our on off valve. Propane is flowing. Boom. Now I can immediately feel the heat coming off of this thing. Like this is ripping hot. Um, all of these pieces are handmade actually by David. Ooh. Yeah, I just put my hand up there. That was dumb. And it is already ripping hot and that's what seems like low oh we can go a lot lower but you can also go a lot higher too so we're gonna wind her back down and off because we don't want to waste propane all right so all these pieces are CNC cut and he welds them together himself I do actually like this unit because it's it's quite small and it takes up as little space as possible in the ice house. Uh, a bonus part about these is you can just as easily cook on there. Um, with the gas, you have a lot more control of how much heat is going to be coming up and into you, what you're cooking versus on a actual wood burning stove, it's just rip roaring away. Um, if you come over here to the buddy heater, you've got to fabricate yourself a little shelf to go on top of there, and then you've got hot dog juices dripping into this. It, you just don't. Just don't. Stay away from that. Go with this. The smart way, more controlled way, the better built. I'm not worried about dropping this whatsoever. I wish I knew the thickness of the steel, but uh, you guys can see there how thick it is. Burn her inside again. I'm excited to use this product. Now that you guys have seen the Northwood stove here, I'm also going to tell you that you can get a discount on your order. So when you enter to buy this, you will also be able to put in a discount code SPICE1. So that's S P I C E 1 for, I believe it's 5% discount on this order. So Go check them out. That's still really hot because I'm an idiot. <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching Spiced Up Outdoors. Leave your comments below, like the channel and whatnot. And pretty soon we'll be out there doing some fishing on hard water with this.